Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first broadcasted match of the IRF. This is the uh, World Racquetball Championships. I'm Dean Baer. Joining me in the booth is the famous Gary Mazarov. Gary, uh, Hello, thank Dean. you for joining. <laughs> How oh, are you it's feeling? a privilege, my friends. Great to be here. 20th edition of the IRF World Championships. So we're going to have uh, Ecuador versus Guatemala. We are in Guatemala City, Guatemala. Um, Gary, uh, tell the fans about the importance of this event. Uh, this event sets the uh, the tone for the Pan American Games, I'm, uh, I think, next year in Birmingham. Actually, it's the World Games, the World which is Games. a quadrennial event. It'll be in Birmingham, Alabama in the USA. So this is, this is a qualifier. And, and, and Dean, even people that lose in the 16s and the quarters will continue to play uh, for a ranking for next year in case some players elect not to come. Yeah, I saw that on the draw sheet. There was like a, another bracket going on. So, um. Now, um, the, the two gentlemen from Guatemala, Christian Ware and uh, Edwin Galicia, I'm, I'm very familiar with them. They've been playing a lot of international racquetball tour doubles events and singles over the past year or so. Now, the, the guys from Ecuador, I'm not. Uh, are you? Uh, I am. We have Ugaldi on the right-hand side and Cueva on the left. Uh, both of them came through the junior ranks. Ugaldi is probably 10 years older than uh, Cueva, but they're used to the international stage. This is considered a round of six. Uh, no, this is a quarterfinal match. No. Should be the round of, round 16, of 16, I believe. This is the round of 16. Yeah. The winners play into uh, USA, Pratt and Landa. That's an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> so again, uh, Ecuador in the front. They're serving right now. They're in blue and white shorts, blue shirts. And uh, Guatemala's white shirts and blue shorts in the back. Hometown favorites, Guatemalans. <laughs> slightly, slightly. They got a they got a little bit of a crowd here. Um, I'll tell you, Gary, I'm pretty excited to be here. First of all, A1, never been to Guatemala, so pretty excited about that. Uh, this is my first IRF event well, welcome, ever. Man. It's no. great to have you here, man. <laughs> Thank great you. Great to have you here. I shouldn't say that. I went to Junior Worlds in Minneapolis. Okay. But we, were not, we were on American soil, a little different. So um, Much different. Very excited to be here. It's interesting enough, Charlie Pratt is scouting in the front row. <laughs> and here he is playing. Yeah, yeah. Wearing two hats, yeah. player and coach. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's going to play the winner. So it's a wise choice to stick around and, and spend that hour. A lot of players don't do that, uh, and, and they should. That's one of the best best shots in doubles, that wide angle wrap around. Gets everybody thinking, everybody moving. And uh, most of the time, it ends in your favor. Especially here with the, in, in Spanish, they call the vidrio, the glass. You got a 40-foot long right side glass here. Very difficult when that ball jams up against it. Yeah, this is an amazing venue that was uh, built here in Guatemala City. I was talking to Marie from the IRF before. She's from Guatemala. She was telling me it took um, seven years to get this facility built. And one of the main reasons that, that happened that it was built was because of the success from Gabby Martinez on the international stage also. Absolutely. It, it was a big push for her. A great investment in Gabby. She came on the world stage as a 12-year-old. They put, it, they put her into the adult uh, worlds, in addition, in addition to becoming world champ for the juniors. So both of the Ecuadorian players uh, live in, in Cuenca. And as we said, the locals, uh, Christian and Edwin, live here in uh, the capital, Guatemala City. Ecuador is in the lead 5-0.
the uh, the Guatemalan team really kind of turned turned their game up a notch with the addition of uh, of their coach uh, Aaron Palomino. They, they really upped their, their game a little bit. Absolutely, a great selection. Tom Travers was their coach for 12 years. He now has taken over the reins of Costa Rica. Ooh, that was a very interesting serve right there. Five serve, five zero still, Ecuador in the lead. There's a punch right into the corner by Christian Ware. Clearly, you could see the hometown favorites. Yeah. A lot of cheering went on with that uh, that point, actually, the first point of the match for the Guatemalans. Dean Christian on the right side for uh, Guatemala. He's a uh, younger son of the president of the federation, Dr. Dr. Ware. Yes. Uh, he's been extremely helpful. Uh, some of our equipment was actually brought here by Christian from Florida so that we bring you this uh, beautiful broadcast. Look at that reverse pinch. Excellent choice shot selection there by uh, Galicia. Not a good serve. Went right to the forehand. We're yes. not dealing with a lefty-righty and the Ecuadorians, but that, that serve went right into the middle of both of them. And, and I mean, the four, he just took the forehand and ripped it into the corner. Little deeper on that one, on that reverse seat to the right side. Three serving five. Oh, Edwin. Oh. Edwin wants that again. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. You know, he wants another crack at that one. Uh, Christian, uh, Christian got turned around. He actually was behind the shooter out of position. Edwin stepped in and really covered that slot and, 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 and really had an opportunity to score another point. There's that deep Z. Quick hands, quick hands, Dean. Yeah, there's nothing like doubles. I mean, I love singles to death, but doubles is just, it's a different flavor. And the crowd, the crowd just usually gets into doubles just so much more. And I, I think it's because there's more people to cheer for, there's more action. Let our uh, fans out there know that Ronda Rasich defeated M Maria Jose Maria, Maria from yeah Maria from uh, well originally from Bolivia playing for Argentina. Maria Jose 11-10 in the tiebreak. That's my favorite. That's my favorite score. Maria 11 Jose 11-10. What a good win for Ronda Rasich at this stage of a career. Absolutely, all wins are good, but that was exceptional with a capital E. <laughs> and uh, I mean, Maria Jose was seated second. And she's not playing doubles in this event. She wanted to concentrate on singles, and guess what? She's no out. Ma no mas. She's, uh, she might be a line judge or refereeing or she's going home. Nice punch into the right corner. Smart shot. Six serving three. Ecuador with a three point lead here. Jose Daniel Ugalde. Those close to him call him Topo. Topo? Topo. Once again from Cuenca. Beautiful city up in the mountains in Ecuador. We had Pan Am Championships there, I believe it was 19, uh, 2003. 
which featured an exhibition match <laughs> between Paola Langoria and uh, the Ecuadorian favorite, Sotomayor. Veronica. Yeah, they were, I think they were 16 and 15, respectively. Wow, the wealth of knowledge and information from Gary Mazarov. Players 6-3, taking a timeout. We'll take a short break, too. We'll be back at the International Racquetball Federation. So is it... Uh, it's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs, or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little in front, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Guatemala serving. I'm actually not sure, Gary, who called that timeout, but Guatemala is serving right now at 3-6. Good ceiling ball there. Guatemala took that timeout. And for our viewing audience, Dane, each team is entitled, whether it's first game, second game, or tie break, they're entitled to two one minute timeouts in International Racquetball Federation play. And obviously this is a round of 16 doubles also. Uh, so there's no appeals, there's no line judges. There's just a head referee. His call stands. We're likely to have lines people in the semis and the finals. Now, now say there's an issue here. Can the teams ask for line judges? They can ask, but they're not going to be granted. <laughs> Love it. Uh, ask away. <laughs> so appeals unnecessary as of now. Big setup. Point. That's a decent serve, nothing fancy, just a nice high lob. Had a stuck to the wall, weak return from Christian, and an easy put away. I mean, Topo has a couple of decades of international play, both as a junior and a, yeah, on the adult team. And they, what they did years ago was they put a lot of their junior players on the adult team. And so initially they got blasted, but after a while, they held their own, and now they're winning. Yeah, sometimes you got to take your lumps, right? Yep. Learning process. That was a decent return. Nice cross yeah. court. It wasn't, wasn't a good serve. It wasn't against the wall like Topo wanted to the last couple times. They were decent uh, serves before, and um, Christian really didn't have a good return, and he just kind of swatted out it. Like uh, Gary said before, that whole right wall is a... Um, it's full glass, very easy to, to lose the ball. Galicia. Nice shot. Very intelligent there, didn't have to do too much. Edwin Galicia serving. Christian Ware. W-E-R is a beautiful is partner. Return. I'm, uh, my New York accent doesn't, doesn't favor this, the Spanish <laughs> names that well. I try hard, I promise you that. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell people you're Long Island, not it, New York. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, Gary. Touche. Wow. Snap forehand winner by Topo coming in to serve. His partner, Cueva, shares the same last name as the coach. Are they relatives? They're related in one way, shape, or form, but it's uh, not father and son. 
Uh, miss hit. 9-3 at this point. Is, is it time for another Guatemala timeout? Knowing you only get two. They took one kind of early. They were, they were down, I think, five or six nothing. So. Oh. oh wow, that was flat. Where I come from, D, we call that flat, F-L-A-T. <laughs> Sometimes I add another T and a Y on the end of that one, but that was a beautiful shot. Buena bola, Ecuador. 10-3. There's the glass interference. Yeah. What, what do you do at this point, Gary, if you're Guatemala? Are you down 10, serving three? You're, you're in the back. You need to get into the service box. Just play your game. They have a game plan coming in. Ecuador still needs five more points to close out the game. Wow. And that's a, that's a start. Beautiful. Well, Topo, right after that high lob serve, and a lob serve, if you're on the other side where he was, you're on the right side, you never want to come out of that box and start backing up. You just, I mean, that pinch is wide open. And Guatemala took advantage of that. And now a weak return point Guatemala. Different twist on that. Edwin decided to rip one right into the middle. I think he caught Cueva off guard on that one. Short, corto. We are at go. men's. Two straight points after getting the side out. Yeah, they're, they're at five now. That's a nice, a nice two point run so far. We're at the um, men's doubles qualifying event here. Guatemala City. Look at that coverage right there from Edwin Galicia. Did he, did he give him a replay? It appears, it, I believe so, because it's still 10-5. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that ball was kind of by him. I agree. Reverse, reverse winner. Love the reverse pinch in doubles. There's two of my favorite shots in doubles. One is the reverse pinch, and like I said before, the wide angle pass. You never, you can't go wrong with those two. Point Guatemala. He's Christian. The, Christian is the second server, I believe, right? He's also a restaurateur here in Guatemala City. He is? He is. Okay, let's go. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> We're not hurting for restaurants here, folks. Put it on your bucket list. Get over here to Guatemala City. Skipped in. That was a difficult ceiling ball. Came off the back wall. Uh, but just a little too much overswing there, skipped it in. You know, pressure might be uh, kicking in to the Ecuadorians. They're right back in the game, 7-10. Maybe too many reverse pinches, Gary. Great cover. Excellent. That's, that's communication. Christian found himself up a little bit. Ball passed him. Edwin was there to take it. It was right there. The timeout Ecuador. Very smart timeout for them. Uh, they take a short break. We'll, well, I guess we will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. International Racquetball Federation. I'm Dean Bear. Joining me is Gary Mazaroff. Gary, again, let's tell the fans what this event is about for the IRF. This is the World Championships 
It's held every two years, unlike the juniors, which will start tomorrow and will have an overlap for three days. That's an annual event. So this is also qualifying for the World Games in Birmingham, Alabama, USA next summer. So the top 16 seeds will be able to play in that event. Yeah. So if you finish 17th, you're not eligible to, to even you, go. You're on the WL list. So in the case list. anybody went through 16 for one reason or another, he likes not to go. Yeah. Yeah, and, and let's, what is the World Games? World Games is a uh, multi-sport competition held every four years, just like the Olympics. They have typically 30 to 40 different disciplines. Uh, the last one was in Poland and racquetball was not part of it because Poland did not build any racquetball courts. But previous to that, they had it in Cali, Colombia. And the first one I went to was back in 2009 in Kaohsiung in Taiwan. Fantastic. Well, I know that, wow, look at the crowd. You think, who are they rooting for? I, I'm not sure. At 10, <laughs> well, they just got a half out right there, and that's, they're, they're down 10-8, so it's, it's 10 Ecuador, 8 Guatemala. Again, Ecuador's in the front, blue shirts, white shorts, Guatemala, white shorts, white, white shirts, blue shorts, black shorts. But down 10-8, I think that hit him. That hit him, that's a side out. That was a very good call. Christian, Christian Ware was pointing right away and the referee was all over it. Head official is Franco from Buenos Aires in Argentina. Again, we don't have any Lions people, not until the semis. Nice. Good step in. So, soft hands. Yeah. And, and he read it. You know, you saw instantly as, as Edwin pinched that ball, he took one step in with his backhand. It was a nice, easy push into the corner. And Christian being behind him, no chance of getting that ball. Dead ball hand to replay it. Repite, si repite. Agree or disagree? Was that a replay or an avoidable? Replay. Yeah, I'm very excited for the juniors. You guys are going to be tuning in tomorrow. We'll have adults all day. The juniors are starting in a couple days. But they're all here. It's nice to see the juniors able to watch some of the adults. I think that's, that's great, extremely great important. Great opportunity. Yeah. It happened on the U.S. stage at Nationals. It's the first time they ever held them together, uh, juniors and the adults. And it was, uh, it w at, we w I was there. It was a great event for the juniors, a well, learning experience. For many of them, it was the opportunity they needed to take advantage of because formally the U.S. does not have a junior team here. They elected not to bring them. Yeah. For I don't want to get in that now. I'm not happy it. about. I'm not happy about that. Coaching one of the juniors, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not happy at all. Matter of fact, extremely disappointed is the word I would use now that I'm here. There are 14 adult countries, uh, countries playing as, uh, in the adult worlds, and there will be about 10 in the juniors. What other countries don't have juniors? Well, the 14 for the teams that have the uh, adults here are not represented with the juniors. That's the USA, Ireland, Korea, and Japan. So the other 10 countries will have juniors. First server, Guatemala in the service box. Eight serves 11. Eight 11. Folks, you're seeing 8-10, but uh, the official scoreboard is 8-11. Time out on the court. We'll take a break, too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. 
I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alonso Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dean Bear, joining me in the booth is Gary Mazarov. We are at men's doubles, Guatemala versus Ecuador. We got a shirt change for the Guatemalans. 8-11, game one. I don't, know, I don't know if they changed their shirts. I, didn't, I don't remember the, the, the front of their shirts having all that pattern on it. Ooh. Two bounce get by Ecuador. Now it's nine. Serves 11. Blink your eyes a few times, Dean. Look at the score. Converged. Make it 10. Not a smart shot coming out from that timeout, Ecuador. You know, usually the timeout works in your favor. I'm in you agreement. You regroup. You come back in a slight more focused. They're picking on the, the left side, the backhand. Maybe Topo's forehand scaring him a little bit. There's a reverse pinch, but he read it. Wow. Tie score. Once. Sabiendo Once. Empate. Tie. First game, 11 each. Wow. After a 5 nothing start. Folks, we're in day four of this event. First time, first day for streaming. Yes. Side out. Yeah, they hit the side wall, came right at Christian, Christian, and hit him in the leg. Look at that coverage right there. We got a rally going on right here, Gary. Ball still live. Wow, backhand Ball still pitch. live until Ugalde <laughs> reversed with his backhand into the right corner. That was a fantastic serve. That's 12-11. That's Ladies and gentlemen, you don't understand how difficult <laughs> that shot was right there. Spinning off the back wall to take a reverse pinch and roll it. Oh, hometown crack. Front wall, side wall, cracked out. All cracks are good. 12-11. <laughs> Cueva serving. Ecuador trying to close this out. Three points from the game. First to 15, win by one, folks. Ooh. Edwards asking for, hinder. no, he called a punto, he called a point. I did. He was asking for a, Correct. he didn't get it. <laughs> Court four has Bolivia versus Japan, I believe that is. Or is that Korea? Korea. There it, they just finished game one. I like that serve, Gary. Yes. Wow. Fist pump from where? Yeah. And and, and it's good to see him finish that, that rally right there because the serve really, he looked uncomfortable with that wraparound where he was kind of spinning, moving his feet, just trying to get a racket on it. Uh, I didn't expect the rally to end the way it did by him, given the way it started. Nick Lobb here. 
Ecuador's goal seems to be get it over to the to the side where Christian is. Because look what Edwin is doing. Galicia. Punto. 12, serviendo 13. 12, 13. Dean, you're a quick learner. You uh, I work with Fabio. I got my you, I got my you, numbers you captured, down. You, you captured <laughs> the Spanish language in in 30 minutes. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, they're coming over the high lob over to Christian. Wow. But look who's killing the ball. Trece, trece. Galicia. The second empate tie of this game. So now. They're asking if they have a timeout, I think. They do have a timeout, so they ask. One of the things we should let the fans know, it's very good that um, the, what the players do, especially at these international events, same with the professional events, is they ask the referee if they have an appeal, if they have a timeout before they do it. Good point, because if they don't, it's delay of game, it's a technical minus a point. And at 13-13, minus one is not good. Uh, they take a break, we will too. We'll be back shortly right here on the Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Dean Baer, we're at the International Racquetball Federation. Joining me is Gary Mazarov. This is the- Ida Vuelta, back and forth, 13. We had a tie at 11. Ecuador had a initial lead here in game one. This is the they World Championships for a qualifying spot in the World Games. Good grab. Wow, look at the hands by Christian Ware. Drop shot with that backhand. Well, you know, the, the rally got messy with all that round the world stuff, and uh, I, I wasn't in favor of it, given well, the way they were shooting. We are at game point number one for Guatemala. This is the first time they're in the lead. Absolutely. The entire game. It's a good time to be in the lead at game point. Ball live. Oh, ah, right in the first. Great. Two in a row. His first one was rather high. So the second one, he put it down. Second opportunity to win game one for Guatemala versus Ecuador. He's going to go to that high lob nick to the. No, he's going to. I think he's, he's going, going for crack. I think he's going to either crack or uh, wrap the ball around into that right side vidrio. No, just a straight Either. drive. <laughs> he decides to go to uh, Cueva on the left side. Maybe that wasn't what the, what the plan was. <laughs> but now he can go to that high lob nick to Cueva. That's the experience factor. He, he'd rather go left side. Skipped it in. It didn't work regardless. No, but he's been doing that. And what Cueva's been doing is putting it to the high ceiling back to Christian here. And... Uh, Right there, skipped it in. Had the opportunity, had, Absolutely. The, had the game right on his racket. Now 13-14. So Ecuador staved off two game points. That's big. Beautiful down the line. Game point of their own. 14, 14. Now the first opportunity for Ecuador to take game number one. Good serve. Too many reverses, too many reverse pinches, but that's live. Yeah. 
Good pick up there. Oh, mistake. Skipped oh. it in. I think he zigged when he was supposed to zag. He, I think he swung his racket be way before his feet were set, and he really tried to kill that ball. Too much time. So second chance now for Ecuador to take game one. This is a packed house here. It is. Guatemala City, International Racquetball Federation World Championships. into the corner sometimes that corner just sucks the ball in and it did it right there game one in the books gary what is your thoughts on game one well ecuador came out to an early lead then it, it got tied at 11. the crowd got behind guatemala then it was tied at 13. and lo and behold guatemala lost two chances at game 15 14 in favor of ecuador after staving off two Game now, now say you're the, you're the coach. You're the coach of, of Guatemala right now. You're Aaron Palomini, and you got your guys there. You know, what do you say to him? Do you say to them, "Hey, listen, it worked. We were right there." We're, do we're, we change anything? We're on the cusp. The thing I change is a little more concentration. You talked about some of the shots you didn't like, the wraparounds and the Z's. Now, sometimes it's a requirement, but hit your shots and cut down on your unforced errors. Maybe maybe also get a little more focused. Let's Absolutely. go in and win this. I think that's the goal. Yeah. We'll take a short break. They will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and and, and stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play I mean that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people I'm a little trying to get your m40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Bear and Gaz Gary Mazaroff. Gary, uh, what's the significance of this particular event? Well, again, it's the World Championships. This is for all the marbles. And this year as well, it's a qualifier for the World Games next year. This is, this is the 20th year. Now, understand this tournament was designed for 2020 so this is the 2020 worlds and we're going to have one next year it's every two years 2022 first one we'll come back to this but the first one was in 1981 and it's every two years now is it for the juniors also Ju no juniors every year okay but do they go to the world games the juniors no so if a junior is good enough to play on the adult team yes gotcha great diving kill shot by christian ware but Topo buried that into the corner. I believe that's point one. Oh no, zero zero. That was side out. Side out. For no, those new to the game, only one player of the team that serves first in each game gets to serve. It's a, it's a it's not only a handout, but it's a side out. Good, good kill shot there by Christian Ware from Guatemala City. I'll tell you, this is a fantastic facility. Now, how does the city get picked to host this game? Well, if is you that, have influence, my friend. <laughs> Certainly, uh, the Olympic Committee is behind him. And as you said earlier, with the success, Gabby Martinez and now uh, Maria Renee uh, have, they, they, can get, they can get gold medals in, in this discipline. And when the Olympic Committee smells medals, guess what? They pump in the muddy. <laughs> it's a top tier sport here. Racquetball is in the, in the States is probably, uh, well, I'm not gonna even venture there. Yeah, let's not. But the action here is Ecuador versus Guatemala. 
that's also a handout right there. No harm, no foul, no point. Guatemala still serving, second man serving. Christian Ware on the right side. Want to welcome our leader, Osvaldo Maggi from Buenos Aires. Welcome, Maggi. Our producer, Pablo oh. Farhe. Oh, wait, let's put him on the, uh, now he's on. How are you, Oswaldo? Fine, thank you. Hey, this, uh, this is a fantastic venue, a fantastic event. It's my first International Racquetball Federation experience. So from me to you, thank you, because it's an actual pleasure and honor to be here. Thank you to be here. For us, it's a honor, and you are doing a very good transmission. Thank you. For our listening audience, Osvaldo played for his homeland of Uruguay <laughs> back in 1988 in Costa Rica. That's in, a long time ago. In, Bo in Bolivia. Yeah. In Bolivia. Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia, where we'll be in April 2022. We're still that's scoreless here. 0-0 zero, zero, still. A lot of sides out. One of the perspective rule changes for IRF is rally scoring. Not yet, but it's coming. Well, what's your thoughts? You like it? You're in favor of it? I do like it. Puts more pressure on both sides. It's, it's more of a converging opportunity for the team that's not as good. But... Uh, we, we've, we've done it in uh, one of our tournaments in El Paso, Texas. Uh, New Mexico actually operates out of uh, El Paso as well and, and Southern Cal uh, Colorado. And we canvassed all the players and no exceptions, everybody liked it. Now the scoring may change. You might play like, uh, instead of a tie break to 11, you might play to 15 and, and win by two as well. We'll see okay. what happens, but it's going to happen. Okay, not sure I'm, I'm not sure I'm in favor of that. I like the defense aspect of when you're on defense, um, you know, and, and you, you hold off points. Um, and, and when you're on offense, if you lose, you know, you lose that rally, it's, you just, you lose the opportunity to score, not an actual point. It might, it might change the philosophy of the game. Absolutely. And your plan. You will certainly have some coaching considerations. One of the reasons is to make the game, uh, speed up the game, because the average match now is, is better part of an hour or longer. We had an hour and a half match earlier today, uh, and we tested it. Most of the matches took 40 to 45 minutes when we did the rally scoring. So from, a, from, from just a specific time standpoint, um, does that benefit outweigh that hour and a half match that fans are absolutely engaged and it's an, a nail biter and it's back and forth? You could have match point for literally 10 minutes. That's true. And you, in rally scoring, it's one shot, that's it. Well, except with the win by two. Okay. I mean, Fair there's pro, pros and cons both ways. Absolutely. Set up, nice into the corner. Fist pump, love the fist pumps, love doubles. Uh, I, I, like I said yeah, before. A, what a great discipline. You know, when you, when you play singles, you're in the court by yourself. You're never alone because your coach or your team is behind you when you're playing singles. But when you're in doubles, you have a responsibility to the man next to you or the player next to you. And I, I don't want to say man because it could not, it could be a mix, it could be a, it could be a mixed, woman. women's, but men's. Your, your responsibility is greater. Absolutely. And your and focus is better. And it's communication, my friend. It could be 50-50 or it could be 90-10. Correct. As long as you understand what your job description is. Ugalde, right side serving. One serving two, game two. Ecuador won 15-14 in game one. That ball skipped in. Point Ecuador. Dos, dos. The 
remind everybody again, the winner of this match plays into Charlie Pratt and Alex Landa of the United States. We had some very interesting um, matchups, uh, matches today. The reigning champ is out in the round of 16s. That's Rodrigo Montoya. He won the event the last time. Uh, Jake Bredenbeck took him out 11-10 tiebreaker, I think that was. Maybe, well, maybe it wasn't 11-10. Ronda Rasich. 11-10. She won 11-10 over Maria Jose Vargas, the two seed, as you mentioned before. That's a gigantic win. Uh, you know, Ronda's had plenty of wins, but I think that this stage of her career, like we said before, it's gigantic. Ronda seems to, you know, put the USA logo on her, on her, on her back and... She's a different animal. She is. Court. I she like is. it. So 4-2 now. Three straight points for Ecuador. Cueva serving left side. I think they're saying they served at a turn. Is that what he said or no? Not sure. No. Oh, whatever, it's 3-2 now. Yeah. It was an accidental point. We have a broken string, Three, I think, by Christian Ware. And by the way, here's, here's one of the differences between international play and U.S. In U.S. play, that would be an assessed timeout. International play, it's an official timeout. It's not counted as one of the, uh, two, the two timeouts that they have here. In the pro game, it's it's not a, uh, a timeout. It's an equipment timeout because uh, it's dangerous. Now it's four, Dean. Four, two. That's a good side out. Uh, as Guatemala gets to serve, we're gonna welcome in um, the anti-doping czar. He's got a great name. His name is Dean. But how do you pronounce the last name? Sheer. Sheer. Dean Sheer. But in, in Guatemala, it's czar. Czar. <laughs> the czar of anti-doping. So Dean, um, at this type of event, what is the requirements for the players that are participating? So let, let me back up and give you a little bit of an overview. The in, uh, racquetball is underneath the International Olympic Committee, and as a sport governed by International Olympic Committee, we're required to follow, follow all of the anti-doping rules and procedures that all sports are required to follow. So even though we're not in the Olympics, we still follow all the procedures. If we fail to follow the procedures, we will be eliminated from the International Olympic Committee which means we can no longer participate in Pan American Games or World Games or several other games. So it's very important. Over the last several years, they have really increased worldwide the requirements for the anti-doping programs. Things that have happened, like the scandal in Russia, things like that have caused increased scrutiny. So we're required to follow all that. At this event, we will be doing testing in the finals of certain select finishers. We usually determine that unknown to the players that may be a first or a second or a third place finisher, men's, women's. They don't know ahead of time. Immediately after a match, we pull the player. We monitor the player until the test can be taken by a doping control officer who will then send it off to test and get the results. Sailed out of play. So all these players also participated in their country's um, championships. That's how they got here, to represent their countries. So they were also tested at the end of that event as well, correct? No, not necessarily. Some countries have pretty strong testing within their countries. Some countries don't have as strong of anti-doping agencies. Um, but we have out-of-competition testing for top players that we determine in men and women every year and they can be randomly tested at any time at their home or wherever, and they have to be able to pass those tests. 
Well, Dean, thank you for coming by. Your role is extremely important here. Uh, so thank you for all you do to help the, the racquetball community. Appreciate it. All right, thanks, have fun. Well, Gary, 5-3, uh, Ecuador's in the lead, and we had a timeout. We had a timeout. I think we had a handout, so it'll be second server, five serving, three. That last shot, Dean, uh, went out of court, but if this were a full glass 20 feet in the U.S., it would be in play. International play, there's that demarcation at 12 feet. Anything above it, if it goes directly off the front wall, above that line, it's out. If it bounces and clears it, it's a replay. So then if it, if it bounces and goes out, hashtag replay. Correct. Gotcha. So players are back on the court. We are too. Got some great information from the anti-doping czar, huh? Absolutely. Dean Zar Shear. Zar Shear. Topo is still trying to go for that rap Z. It was really, you know, like I said before, sending Christian just into a decision-making mode early. Around the wall. Wow, what a great pass. That just touched the side wall and just stopped. Perfect, perfect shot. 5-3. If Ecuador wins this game, they will move on, face USA. If Guatemala pulls it off, we will have a tiebreaker. Game three will be to 11 points, win by one. I stand corrected, it was not a handout at that uh, timeout. Ecuador had two opportunities, so now with the handout, it's a second server, Cueva. Wow, a lot of power from Edwin Galicia and a skip by Cueva sends Guatemala back into the box to try to score some points. Between the legs. You see, sometimes these players are trying to do too much, Dean. Yes. A lot of balls are jumping off the back. That was an ill-advised shot by Edwin Galicia. Yeah, I, I, liked, I liked the initial thought process of uh, Christian. His, his thought process was to track that ball. Edwin thought he was in a better position. If you call your opponent off on that ball, Absolutely. you have to make the shot. That's right. It has to be a good one. That's a part of the communication in doubles. That skipped point. Called a skip. No appeals. You can appeal to your opponents. They're certainly not going to overturn it. It's definitely not happening. Didn't sound good. Sounded a little off from where we're standing. 4 5, game two. Good serve by Christian. I think he got the return he wanted. He just wasn't able to negotiate that third shot. Yeah. He was a little too back, and it was kind of a pinch. So Ugali decided to go with the drive. He had been hitting high Z lobs, and Christian would come in and take the ball intermediate level and hit back to Cueva's uh, backhand. But that time he came with the drive and uh, Ware put it away. Short ball. They're really mixing up the serves. Um, well, I wonder if that's part of their game plan to kind of throw Guatemala off. Dead ball hinder. 
Christian's not happy about that one. So, folks, there was a false serve. Second serve legally put in play. Hinder ball reverts back to first serve. Excellent point, and rightfully so. I mean, it wasn't the server's fault that was a hinder. Short again. Yeah, that had that same sound at that as that skip that the referee called, so therefore I'm going back to thinking it was a good call. Good pick up by Christian. Point. Too many, too many near side pinch attempts. Ball's left up. Go with that wide angle you alluded to earlier. Yeah, 6-4, Ecuador in the lead right now. Or drive the ball right down the right side, Vidrio. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of down the lines. Uh, Cueva has been doing a lot of cross courts that have been really coming right to Edwin's forehand. Great feet by Cueva. Went back, set up, on balance, reverses it with a backhand winner. So now we have a 7-4 lead, game two. Yeah, game two is getting away from uh, Guatemala. Their, their decision making, like we talked about before, what the, one of the adjustments that they really needed to do has not taken place yet in here in game two. Thought that short. was a good serve. Referee called it short. So now it's 7-4. International Racquetball Federation World Championships. Guatemala City. Point, Ecuador. Fly kill, right side by Ugaldi. Yeah, it was a very smart decision too. He had Christian deep, you know, by the hash mark. And uh, if he looked, if he turned and looked at Edwin, Edwin was deep in the court. And that pinch, wide open. Easy scoring point for Ecuador. 8-4. I don't know what he called there. I don't know if he called a foot fault or not. Second serve is the call. Foul to PA, yeah, foot fault. There's the down the line we're talking about. Too many pinches. Ecuador just pinched it. Christian was right there. So there, Guatemala is right pretty much close to where they were in game one. They, they had a deficit and they inched back and then they actually took the lead and had two opportunities for game. Let's see if they can do that again here. Good shot selection there with the reverse. Cueva's on a roll, Dean. He has got to keep the ball away from him, but the problem with that is you serve it up to Topo's forehand, and he's pinch winner one after the other. Comes back with that. Nick Lobb, left side. That's Skipped it in. He got the return he wanted. He just didn't execute. Guatemala needs to be careful here. 8-4. Good winner. Didn't look prick pretty, but it was effective. Second server, Cueva, on the left, will serve. Great spot by Edwin Galicia. Wow. Team Guatemala did what they needed to do. They kept the score set at the four, deficit at, at four, eight. so it's four eight. They need some points, one by one. Oh, 
Ooh. I think he hit him, his own partner. I, I think that's what I saw. Yes, because that's a handout. So each player has 10 seconds once the score is called. Christian didn't put that ball in play for 20 seconds. So the referee should give him a technical warning. Thereafter, it's a technical foul. And referee technical, minus a point. Minus one. Skip ball by Ecuador, point Guatemala, 5-8. You folks at home, you can count. I mean, he's taking well beyond 10 seconds. That's why it's important for referees to call second serve. That's when the 10 second time begins. There it is. Beautiful kill down the, uh, let's, let's listen. So they've cut the margin in, in half. They came in at four, it's now six, eight. My, he wants a mulligan on that one, Dean. <laughs> the serve wasn't what he wanted either. That went right to Topo's forehand. Great serve, almost made the front wall. That's stuck in the corner, point number nine. Say Daniel Ugalde, a.k.a. Topo. That should be a replay. He's going to the side, no? From this vantage point, I, I, I'm not sure. He, he, looks, he, he needs to tell the players, play ball or give them a warning. This is a delay of game. Yeah, we, there, There's no room for this discussion. Referee call stands, I like it. And as, a, as the server, I mean, you gotta move on because the more you let this linger in your head, your next shot is not gonna be good. <laughs> I'm with you. Edwin buries that in the corner. Some sloppy shots by Ecuador. Hand out. 9-6, game two. Ecuador serving, trying to close this out and earn a berth in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Another winner by Galicia. So they, they allowed one point to be scored. It's a three-point margin, Dean. Gonna see a timeout now. Nine, six serving nine. Players take a break. We will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Guatemala serving six, Ecuador receiving nine. We are at the International Racquetball Federation 
World Championships adults and juniors. I'm Dean Baer. Uh, joining me in the booth is the famous Gary Mazarov. We have a tale of one city here. <laughs> Guatemala has fallen behind in both games. Game one, they came back and actually had two opportunities for game. Lost 14-15. It's the same theme here. Let's see if they can create the same uh, MO, if you will. Yeah, point, Guatemala, seven. Excellent. Bad, bad shot by Ecuador, gave Christian Ware a setup, literally a, two feet from the front wall. He didn't miss. Edwin serving. We talked about doubles being really, really dynamic. You love singles, but doubles is more dynamic. Correct. I mean, it's, it's a game of adjustments and a game of subtleties. Call that a point or skip? No, skipped. Referee called it a hand skip. Hand out, hand out. Couldn't tell that went right into the corner. Edwin really thought that ball was good. What's Christian going to do here? That's Defensive serve. Goes back to that Nick lob, left side. Set up. See, there's the mistake, in my opinion. No call yet. Still, okay. Finally, he stopped uh, play, dead ball hinder. Yeah. But Ed, Edwin's, Edwin's return, that wrapper, that was ill-advised. Not a good return. Definitely too high. Has to be a little bit lower. Again, what, sometimes they, they try to do too much. Ball live. These kids today, we can call them kids, Gary. <laughs> and this is the adults. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anybody under 50 is a kid now. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm finally, I grew up. 9-7. <laughs> Skipped in. Speaking of kids, I tell you, there's a lot of them here. A lot of the uh, junior Guatemala teams here. I see some of the kids from Costa Rica. The kids are bonding, and they're able to watch some adult high-level racquetball. That's a win-win. Yeah, it's indeed. a win for racquetball, win for the kids. It's a win for the adults also. Yeah. Effectively, the juniors will be a hemisphere event, more of a Pan Am event. But uh, the adult worlds here, we had players from Ireland as well as Korea and Japan in addition to all the countries from this hemisphere. That's a dead ball hinder that was. I think there was some body contact between Edwin and Cueva. Stop play called by the referee. So Franco, the ref, agreed with your call, Dean. <laughs> Long. What a facility they built here again. Beautiful. I don't know, the is, it, is there a name don't. of the facility? The, the racquetball Domo, division? Domo. But I'll tell you, they built a fantastic it's, it's part of a multi-sport park. Next door is a squash facility with 11 courts, including singles and double squash. This. Uh, probably two weeks from now, we'll have 10 courts. Right now, they're using nine. Yeah, there's another stadium glass court being called. 10 7 now. Ecuador on top. Double digits for them. I want to welcome one of our fine coaches from Bolivia, Felipe Super Mercado. Felipe is unbelievable. He's my favorite. Ooh, not a good shot there by Edwin Galicia. 11-7. Dean, Guatemala can't afford those non-contested shots. Not at this level and this stage of the tournament. You know, you're in the main bracket. Skipped in. You can almost say in pool play, mistakes like that are okay because you're getting your feet, you know, you're, you're getting more of that teamwork. Meanwhile, you know, you play with these people all the time. 
um, but you're getting that in-game experience and stuff like that. But when you get to the so-called metal round, yeah, you can't make them. Ball live. Good get. This is a critical inning for Guatemala. And, and guess what? Buried it. Topo will have nothing about that one. He'll have, he's not gonna allow that to happen. Second server, Christian Ware, seven for Guatemala. Ecuador in the back in the blue at 11. Critical Christian. inning, hand out. Drive serve from him. Z. Good read by Edwin Galicia. Mistake, set up, Topo. Good call off. That was communication at its best. Winner. Winner. Christian Ware. Ecuador was asking for a skip. So Christian went with a drive Z to the right. It was, it was too loose. It hit the back wall and actually set up Ugalde. 8-11, game two. Same thing. There's the setup. You want that ball to kiss off the side first. He, so Replay. what happened there was there was a safety hold up and they were anticipating an avoidable called. Franco, the head ref, called a dead ball hinder replay. Again, more of the uh, theatrics from, from Ecuador right. to the referee. Exactly, play asking ball. Asking for explanations. Just play ball. Do you, are you in favor of the hold up or are you in favor of taking that swing? So I'll ask yeah. you flat out. If he swung and hit him, is he getting the avoidable call? He should. But he holds up and gets a replay. Yeah. It's a philosophy of life, my friend. <laughs> I, I don't you don't, know. You don't want to hurt anybody. Either. No, not not at all. Never, never, never is that in the cards. Okay. This this should not be happening, folks. This is a delay, and uh, the referee can eliminate it just by saying play ball. If if the players continue to talk, hit them with a warning. Thereafter, they'll deduct a point for a referee technical. Back to the. I wonder if if the serve. And how we said before, it's not really that tight. I, I don't know because he did two in a row. I don't know if it's it if it's what he wants. Well, he he needed to adjust his position. Just take a half step to the right. He'll get the angle. There it is. Ball down. Front wall, side wall, kill shot. So, folks, we're at 9-11, game two. A mimic of game one. We'll see if Guatemala can take a lead here. Checking Guatemala the and the fans want a tiebreaker, Gary. Oh, absolutely. You know Ecuador doesn't. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna get the uh, sweeper out there. Um, uh, uh, th this comes up a lot too on the pro side. Um, uh, too much time takes to wipe the floor. Uh, we're not like NBA. They don't they don't go to the other side of the court, and when they're down there, there's 30 people kind of mopping up some sweat. Um, but fans got to realize the cleaning of the floor. This is super important. Absolutely, and uh, unfortunately, you're not going to see this kind of attention in the states. No. Oh, nice. Ball live. Oh, wow. No. From the shoulder. Nicer. From the shoulder. From nice to nicer. Backhand. That guy looked like Pablo out there. He Taking did. Backhand. Our producer, Pablo Farhe, Team Chile, back in 1954 to 62. Oh, jeez. He was in diapers. Set up. Good read. Between the legs. Topo Point. says, see ya. Point 12. Sorry. Sorry. So that was a fantastic rally 12, right nine. there. 
that, that, that rally had a lot of good stuff in it. It had Edwin uh, Galicia, you know, make some smart plays with his backhand, some reactionary plays between the legs. But what he did with the ball was a nice ceiling ball to kind of give himself time. They switched sides a few times. Just didn't end the way they wanted it. And a nice cross court pass by Christian Oer. Front wall, side wall, deep, handcuffed. Cueva on the left side. So it's 12-9. Second man. Ooh, good pickup, but can't make the front wall. That died in the corner again. You remember game point in game one? Exact same serve. There it is. There it is. Point 13, two points away from taking on Team USA. Set up. Ball down. Ooh, match point number one, Dean. Wow, Edwin was right there. I really thought he got it. I thought he had the opportunity to get that one. 14-9, game two. Match point. Just need one at this stage to move on. Front wall, side wall, killer. Not a good serve. Didn't suck up into that corner like the other ones. Staved off match point number one. Bit by bit, they need to get back. Here's another critical inning. Kill shot, Guatemala, point number 10. I'm smelling a breaker. The crowd wants it. No guarantees in this game. <laughs> there aren't any guarantees, folks. Good pick up off the back wall. Ball live again. Oh my. Notice how he tried to guide that ball. He pushed it. A little too cute. So now we came in at we, Guatemala, <laughs> came in at nine, now it's 11. A little pressure for Ecuador. Might be an yeah, opportunity to call a timeout. They're, they're exactly, they just did. They took a break. We will too, we'll be back. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the, is this the 20th anniversary? 20th. This is the 20th IRF Racquetball World Championships. We are in Guatemala City, Guatemala, and we are in a tiebreaker, 11, uh, not a tiebreaker, we're in game two, 11-14. Hopefully Guatemala. for Guatemala, a tiebreak. There's point number 12. You know, my buddy, our buddy Baghurst and I, we've, We've done this scientifically. Usually, the receiving team that calls a timeout, 70% of the time they come in, they, they end the rally the next time. They gave them a point there. Well, 30% 30, so, 30 just came through right there for Guatemala. There are. Welcome to our viewing audience, folks, and thanks for your questions. They like this high, high lob Nick. Wow, sidewall kill. Speaking of high, 
many probably don't know that Guatemala City is just about a mile high as well. We're at altitude here. Now the referee just went in and said something to Ecuador. I'm not sure what. 13-14, but they're getting that same return on that high lob Nick. They're getting that, that lob over to Christian's side, and he's stepping up now. But Cueva just ended that on the drive. I would have stayed with the high lob Nick. A question is, why change? Well, they, they're working with their drive serve, and when it was short or fault, then they're going to the high lob yeah. Nick. But the Nick was working. Just it was. stay with it. But here we are again. Going to go to that Z. I'm, they got, I'm they got two errant returns in a row, and then Cueva put it away. Speaking, speaking of putting away. Repite. Repite. Referees calling a repite. Says the ball was up. Ecuador said it was down, but the mistake came from Christian shot. Big setup for Ecuador, kind of in the service box. But wasn't a good serve to begin with. Let's see if he does the same thing or he goes back to that Z. Oh, same serve. That was better. See Christian's letting Edwin hit all those shots in the middle. Big, gigantic skip shot right there. So we have wow, listen tie to number one here in game two. Listen to the so fans. This, this is the third game point. Two in the first game. One here for Guatemala. Guatemala looking for a breaker. One point away. Christian taking plenty of time to think about that serve. He's going to go to that drive serve again. I'm just... It's coming off the back wall way too much. Oh, he hit the crack. He hit the crack, but what a return by Ecuador. Now match point number two for Ecuador. Again, Gary, the drive serve, he's looking for the crack in the nick, going into the it. middle. That lob serve was giving him the really good return. And doubles, I'd take a good, I'll take a weak return over, you know, Trying Maybe to, a mistake. Trying to get the Set ace. up. Ecuador. Set up. Edwin. Great shot. And oh, that my. One. And Ecuador skipped it in. What a rally, ladies and gentlemen. What a rally. Great, great rebound on that one. <laughs> I'll tell you, that high, that, that smack down that uh, Galicia did, Topo really handled that well. He kind of jumped with a yeah. backhand like That's he was trying right. to just said, get it over got, the net. He got the rebound. <laughs> so they stave off two match points. This is another match point. Let's see if they could do a third. 14-14, game two. Ooh. It was a good serve. Almost caught Christian off guard. Good Ball pick live. up there. Oh my! The, the glass got to him, Gary. We talked about that before the game match. But this is their club. This they is their club, but he lost the ball. He lost the ball on the sidewall glass, the vidrio, and it cost him. Wow. 15-14, 15-14. That's, that's Ecuador advances. That's a quality win for Team Ecuador, Dean. That, that's a tough. That's a tough way to lose. 14-14. That, that just means one little decision at any time during the match changes the whole dynamic. Well, I'm confident that Palomino, their coach, is going to review and uh, go over with their players what they need to adjust next time. Meanwhile, Ecuador advances. Cueva, the coach, congratulate his team and prepare for tomorrow in the quarters. Yeah, and they're gonna take on Pratt and Landa on Saturday. That looks like to be four so, o'clock. Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow's a buy. I stand tomorrow's corrected. a buy for doubles. Yeah. Single action all day tomorrow. Okay. So yeah. I'm not sure uh, if there's there's no more matches for us tonight. So Gary, we were today is one and done, and uh, it was fantastic. It was a thriller. 15, Absolutely. 14, 15, 14. It's a it's a pleasure to work with you, Dean. We'll do more of the same tomorrow, folks. Thank you for tuning in, international. Racquetball Network, and I enjoy working with you and Pablo.
Well, we uh, we definitely uh, starting something really good here on the international level. I like it. You like it. Pablo likes it. Fans are going to like it tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. We'll have singles action pretty much all day right here on the International Racquetball Federation. For Dean Bear, for Pablo Farre, and Gary Mazaroff, good night, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and. and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me.